no neo Nazi was a thing. Right, right, right. I'd never heard of it. Right. And they both started going to visit this fam or these people in Idaho, mm. in Sandpoint. Yeah. And they were, uh, I hate it. Right? And so they come back and go, hey, you know what I just learned? The Holocaust was fake. Or blah, blah. I'm oh, like, um, what? Mm-hmm. Or some other nonsense, you know, yeah. about how, how Jews have run everything for, I'm like, now those red flags I saw right away. Uh-huh. As soon as they started talking mm-hmm. that shit to me, I'm like, Danger, danger, uh, Will Robinson, yeah, I get go. out. I gotta go, girl. Uh-huh. So I did actually live with two guys who turned out to be Nazis once they got schooled by them. Here's my question. How the hell did you end up living with two dudes who ended up being Nazis? Well, they didn't seem to be. They seemed like nice guys. Mm-hmm. And then they started going, like I said, they started going to visit this guy in Idaho. And every time they went, they came back with more Horse indoctrinated nonsense. And I was like, Ooh, gross. Oh, this is bad. No, listen, this is bad. I, again, have dated some people who cared a lot about race. <laughs> Clearly. All right, speaking of race, we're racing to the end. We're going too fast, but I'm going to take a quick little break. <laughs> So, yeah, you yeah. know, I, dating, man. Yeah. Well, I dated, I remember I dated this guy for a while who I don't, I was, I got a drunk, blind. Um, I didn't understand how worlds worked. I don't know. I didn't understand a relationship. No, he was just the worst. He was this, he's like really the only like true, <laughs> the true white person I've ever dated. He was like blonde and blue eyed. <clears throat> his saving grace was that he was like 6'4". But his name, who cares? He's from Irvine, California, if that says anything to anybody. So his name was Irvine. Mm-hmm. Irvine. He was awful. Um, and I remember I had this apartment. He moved into it rapidly because, again, impulse control issues. I'm like, you, you want to move in? Move in. Right now. Move in. Right? Real quick. Rapidly. Most of the time. Um, but I remember we went like, to dinner one night and we were talking about something. He was telling me a story about his uh, one of his brothers. And his brother had gone to jail for like trying to rob something and he like you do right he told me a story and it was like he tried to rob like a dairy queen or whatever a wendy's in colorado with his friends but his friends happened to be black men and what this man that i was dating said oh he got caught and arrested with a couple of n-word and i was like what and I was like, why do people keep thinking that I'm that person? You know, like, why would you... Just because I you can I glow in the dark does not mean you can say this to me. Um, a little side note. Don't most people assume that you're Slavic because of A lot name? of people do. A lot of people when they ask. see your name written, mm-hmm. they think you're Eastern European. Oh, most people do. And because, I'm, because of my bone structure, because of my height, because of my skin color. Yeah, yeah people ask me if I'm, like, Russian often. Um, Eastern European. Anyway, um... And I just was like, wait, what'd you say? And he was like, well, you know, again, which has been said to me before, there's a difference between Ugh. black people. And I was like, no, that's what white people say to get away with being racist. Right. And honestly, girl, as impulsive as I am, I'm like, and we're all done. And like, he had nowhere to go. He had moved from in like Irvine, right? So I was like, I don't care, I got my fucking house. And like, packed his shit and sent him on his way. That night, I was like, mm, I don't, where are you gonna go? I don't care. It's not my problem. It's not really my business. Figure it out. You're racist. You're racist. You're racist. <laughs> like, you gotta go somewhere. Yeah, bitch. I was angry. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Yeah, bitch. You're racist. I was losing it. Broke up with somebody. I mean, yeah, I would do it again. But anytime anyone starts to show any side that is problematic in that way, I'm just like, nope, gotta go. Well, I mean, I think I put up with a lot of problematic bullshit in my youth, but... There are certain things. It's really funny how the shit I would put up with, Mm -hmm. and then the shit I wouldn't put up with. Yep. Yeah, that is that racist nonsense. Uh Is shit I would never put up with. I'm sorry, you say those words right. Nope. Bye. Mm -hmm. Uh, But I would put up with somebody who cheated on me, apparently, because I did that. But you know, if you ever laid your hands on me, I would have probably killed you. Mm Because when I was married to uh, the village idiot. There was a time we were standing in our kitchen arguing about some nonsense. Who knows what? It doesn't even matter. I can't yeah. remember. And he put his hands on me and pushed mm-hmm. 
Uh-uh. Well, when he pushed me, he pushed me back into the counter, which was the one where I kept the butcher block. Oh, yes, bitch. So, without even turning around, I reached out, reached back, and grabbed the biggest knife from the butcher block, and I yeah. said to him, if you ever touch me again, mm-hmm. I said, I'll kill you. Mm-hmm. Cut you from navel to And I said, nose, let bitch. me tell you, but don't fool yourself. Ain't nobody going to miss you. Uh-uh, honey. And I said, I will hide your body, and nobody will look for it. Uh-uh. So it won't be a problem. Girl, I'm from the country. I know plenty of places. <laughs> where, to I know body. lots of places where no one will ever find you. Yeah, right. I mean, I've never heard of such a thing. I would never do such never. a thing. Never. Where? What? Angel. What's a death? Um, <laughs> I, that just makes me think, though, of uh, my first actual boyfriend was... Oh, right. So... <sighs> Billy Bob. Billy Bob. So, you and your husband were foster parents to no. troubled boys in their teen years. And I just happened to be a teenager. And I just happened to live with you. You just happened to be a little foxy girl who the boys all were like drooling over. Yes, Yes, I recall. And so my first boyfriend was one of those troubled youth foster boys. But um, we dated for like a year and some change when we were teenagers. Um, But I remember it was springtime and he... Something was happening. We were in an argument. I can't remember because again, a thousand years ago. And I'm coming up the stairs in this house and he like ra- he raises his hand to hit me. And I was like, what? And I came up here and I was all like weepy and sad because I was young and was bra- we were breaking up. I knew it. <clears throat> and whatever. And all the other foster boys like rallied around me and were like, yeah, fuck him. Uh, it's okay. We got you. Whatever. And I'm like crying. Oh, I just really love it. Whatever. Anyway. But I love him. Right. But later, so, so when, when your husband got home, took my boyfriend and drove him to someone else's house, his aunt's yeah. house, his mom's house, and was like, toodaloo, pack your shit, get out of my house. Um, but, and when he, when, when your, when your husband got back, we then told him that the Billy Bob, Bob raised a hand raised to him. Raised a fucking hand to me. And then just to watch immediately Mr. T, your husband, just like vibrate from head to toe and like steam come out of his ears. I was like, oh yeah, shit. Well, I know when I told you when I met him. Yeah. He was all, you know, I'm a pacifist, and don't fight, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And I said, that's cute. That's lovely. I'm mm-hmm. sure you don't. Mm-hmm. I said, but you wait. Mm-hmm. You know, because in a minute here, you're going to have a family. Uh-huh. And when somebody threatens your family, mm-hmm. you're going to fight. And then you're going to pacifist cross their nose. Right? You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm going to tell you what. That was the time that I saw. I was like, that. W- there was a specific reason we did not tell him yes. why he was taking Billy Bob somewhere else <laughs> until he got back because I knew that Billy Bob might not make it there safely. <laughs> you know, he dumped I mean, I don't think, I don't think he would have hit him. But I just don't know what would have happened because mm-hmm. he was so, ooh, he was Girl. there. Yes, there was uh-huh. steam coming out his yes, ear. Right. And it looked like a cartoon. It was just like high intensity vibration. It was like, oh shit. I don't think I've ever seen him that angry. Uh-huh. Other than that. But somebody came for his girl. I so, know. you know, whatever. <laughs> Try it. Mama, mama. Try it. Exactly. Don't try it. Because this is not the girl, you wanna, not the one. You want to die today, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. And that's, you know, of course, again, 40 when I met him. Uh-huh. So I finally kind of figured it out and was able. But we did, unlike everybody else, we dated for six weeks before we ever uh, were intimate. Wow. I know. Six weeks. Can you believe it? Now, no. part of that, we were just like, friends Mm -hmm. in quotations because we were both with other people Mm -hmm. so we were just hanging out as friends Mm -hmm. but when we quickly realized that was just not gonna fly right because it was like uh this is the dude i want to be with then we both broke up with said other people and then started actual dating dating so but whatever and p.s 20 years later here we are i know so you know crazy yeah crazy crazy listen it is almost that time god is just Flown by Flipping today. By, huh? It has. And so I'm going to get to my little tale from the drag closet. This is a funny story that I told you just recently. But it's actually, and it's about dating. Mm-hmm. Because one of the things that's very common in specifically drag culture, drag community, drag bars, are uh, drag chasers. Oh, honey. Ugh. Now, drag chasers are a very specific breed. Fetish. Who, fetish. Mm-hmm. Right. Who are looking to... And then, again, date. Uh, they're looking to uh, get with yep. a drag queen. Yep. Now, when you go to a bar where there are drag queens, uh-huh. drag queens come in many, many forms. There are uh, cis men mm-hmm. who dress in drag. There are 
um, trans women who dress in drag. There are cis women, women. cis women who dress mm-hmm. in drag. So, and, and then there's kind of just the umbrella now of all the things, and you never know trans, trans men, men who dress in drag. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you never know what you're gonna get. Which is, I think, also maybe part of the fetish. Maybe is when they're because you don't know, like when you're asking a drag queen out, mm-hmm. what you're gonna get. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's a well, mystery really, ball girl. Literally, literally. I wonder, wonder, what's in a drag queen now? I don't know. I don't know either. So, I mean, like, for example, one night I'm sitting at the bar when I worked at the Empress, and we're mm-hmm. sitting, it's like me and a handful of other queens, we're all sitting along the bar, chit-chatting and waiting for the show to be over so we can go sure. do the next thing. Yeah. And this guy comes up, and I think I'm the very first one in the lineup there, <laughs> you know, and he comes to me and he's all, hey, baby, what do you, yeah. uh, nope. Next, he literally goes to the next person sitting right next to me and tries the exact same line. Yeah, it's like, you know, we can all hear yeah, you. Yeah, we're not blind. But he went down the line until he found someone to say yes to his nonsense. Now, what he probably didn't realize is the one who said yes to him was also smart enough to get coin. Yes, because she was the one who was like, yeah, you bet, I'll go home with you. I'll go do the things with you. How much money? But you this got? is gonna cost you. Mm-hmm. You know, but she just didn't tell him that up front. Hell but whatever, who cares? Right. However, this story, so I'm out, I'm at the bar, I'm with my friends, and this drag chaser comes up to me and he's all, hey, baby, how are you? You know, all the things. And I'm being polite. I mean, because I figure the least I'll get out of it is a drink. Mm-hmm. You know, buy me yeah. a drink. And of course, I'm such a cheap date because I was, you know, Diet Coke. Can you whatever. just give me a Diet Coke? <laughs> Damn, Christ. Oh, no, nope, nothing cool. with that. Just a uh, Coke. Thanks. Just a Coke. <laughs> and so he's all, once he's sitting there chit-chatting with me in the quiet of the yeah. booth, he's all, oh, you know, I've never done this before. Bought a drink for some And I was like, oh, been with a drag queen? And I was like, no, me either. And you're not going to now. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I was like, oh, me either. And he goes, no, I mean, like, I'm straight. And they go... Wow, me too. Crazy. Uh. And he goes, no, like, I mean, I have an old lady. And I go, Ew. you live with an old lady? <laughs> and he goes, my wife. And I go, your wife is an old lady? <laughs> and he goes, no, I mean, I'm married. I go, does your wife know you call her an old lady? And he's like, oh my God, forget it. And he walked away. It was so I funny. So but it was bad. just like, dude, you first of all, if you have a wife, why are you out here in these streets? Trying to get with me, you maybe trash that arrangement. Maybe that's their maybe, arrangement. Maybe, maybe. Maybe that's your See, arrangement. See, again... Good on you. Again, I've, you know... Morals have shifted and changed for me yeah. as I as my horizon sure. has broadened. Yeah. But, you know, yes, maybe that's their arrangement. I just, but most likely not. Because yeah. most of the trash bag men that I met mm-hmm. who were trying to get with drag queens no, were right. all married Same. and all sneaking. Right. I just love it. Because usually they were dumb enough to tell you they were sneaking. Right. You live with an old lady? That's so <laughs> funny. I'm dead. Oh, God. Well, you know. Yeah, I do know. Because like, it got so... It, for me, it was so tiresome. Because oh, I swear to God, they all went to the same school of bad lines. Right. Like, I've never done this before. Really? Because I saw you last night with that girl over there. Mm. You ain't never done this uh, one. You a trash bag. Yeah, you liar. And, you know, we all and talk to each other. The drag community is, I mean, probably in every city is small. Do you think it's, uh, I don't know, do you think they chit-chat with each other? No. 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 You know, that's exactly what we do, because when we do shows, mm-hmm. we sit in the in wherever the dressing room, and I'm going to tell you, if you've never been in a drag dressing room, <laughs> nine times out of ten, they are shitholes. Mm-hmm. You know? But, yeah. We all chit chat with each other. It's like, girl, did you see? Oh, mm-hmm. ooh, did you see this guy? Because oh, do, do. you know? And yeah. so we talk about everything, everyone, and it is. I mean, it's usually it's the hot goss, it's the whatever. What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> you just had to look like you, you know, you had a light bulb bubble like you were going to say something. Enlightened. No, nothing. No, nothing. Mm-hmm. Your head is just as empty as can be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all, all the things fell out. The I time. just had this like rando thought. What is no, I don't remember. Thought? Oh no, I know. I it's old, old, old age. It is old age. I mean, you are thirty-three. I'm. Could you stop it? I'm sorry. I'm leaving. Do you know wearing a mask all the time, um, especially at work? People are like, "Oh, you're like twenty-six. I'm like, mm-hmm. 
I am. You're Thank so you. right. I'm How do you know? So, so I just let people believe that I'm going to arrange a thing. I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm, you're right. Sure. Mm-hmm. Right on the nose. Well, you know, and that's kind of the funny thing about drag, too, is it's kind of the great equalizer. You put mm-hmm. someone in drag and you have no idea how old they are. Yeah. Because everybody looks to be kind of in the same age range until you get old, old. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, she old. Mm-hmm. But from 20 to 40, mm-hmm. everybody's about the same age. Yeah. 